So the economic impact of the Super Bowl, there are a lot of numbers that float around and you get a lot of different opinions from economists about what it really means. Some say in the end, aside from the actual dollars, it's really a postcard to the world about your city. The question is, how do you springboard that into drawing more companies here to do business? Steve Nielsen looked into that today. In fact, he got a one on one with Governor Hobbs about that very topic. And Steve, we know Governor Ducey was very involved in this kind of thing, courting businesses and using big events to do it. How's Governor Hobbs doing it? Well, she's going to be meeting with a lot of CEOs later this week, dozens and dozens of CEOs. And John, we know that the weather here it's going to be nice. We know the state's going to be fun, but it'll take a lot more than that to turn one week of economic impact and make it last a lifetime. Famous for their flavors. The lasagna is super popular. Tammy Co says her Roosevelt Row Pizza Place Hot Daisy just had its busiest weekend ever, and Super Bowl week is just starting. I expect... I know this whole entire week to be just nuts. So around the corner at Hans Park, we met up with Governor Katie Hobbs, who said her job this week is to convince CEOs to move to our state. I think there's been a long time of work with planting seeds, and this is part of the the, the effort to do that. And why not move to Arizona? Cornhole's a winter sport out here. You more of a Kansas City barbecue person or a Philly cheesesteak person? Uh, definitely barbecue. Really? That's not an indicator of my. I I don't have a team in the game, so. Okay, so no, is there a score prediction you have or anything? No, no. Okay, see, I need beer to make this work. <laughs> As she shows off the weather and beauty of Arizona, there are other things that businesses might ask about. Just this past weekend, $100,000 worth of things were stolen from the Super Bowl experience. We had shootings in downtown Phoenix. Are you concerned at all about the safety of downtown Phoenix as we host this event? Well, I know that law enforcement is laser focused on making sure that this event is a safe event, which will mean it's successful. And I don't mean just the big game itself, but the uh, related activities. There were people without homes that lived actually in this park just a few weeks ago. You concerned about that, how we how we present ourselves as a state when there is a homelessness problem in the valley right now? Well, I'm concerned about homelessness in general, and it's not a problem that is going to go away because we cleaned up this park. And let's stay on homelessness right now. Hobbs says after the Super Bowl's over, she'll continue to push for more money to address that issue in the state budget. Of course, though, when you talk about the state budget, that means she has to get the legislature on her side as well. So a lot to track there. Reporting live, Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.